did it. I've never done, well, I've done YouTube Live before, but not like this. Uh, like this being your room, my computer, and not my phone. And it's a much more elaborate setup, so good deal. Um, hello. Oh, I should put, hold on. <clears throat> Today we're doing a little studio, Tabnet Studio live unboxing. Uh, because why not? We can. So let's do it. And I have a lot of shop stuff to share. And I thought it'd be fun just to show you all because normally I do this by myself and I'm just like, ooh, to everything. Um, but then I also have a couple personal things as well. And I didn't realize how like unkempt I've become throughout the course of the day. So one of my personal hauls is what I'm going to start with. I have talked a lot about how much I love love main message, M-A-N-E message. And I purchased these a couple weeks ago, a week ago. I'm not sure. They came like a week ago and I haven't worn them yet and I don't know why. And so, hi, Sarah. Um, I thought I would share with you the, the three things I got from her new tie-dye collected in orange, obviously. Jam thinks that it's his. It's not. Ooh, look what a Halloween-y themed wrist I have now. I love it. Maybe I'll just pop that in there. And I got two of my very favorite wire wrapped headbands. Um, these are both her, part of her new tie dye collection. Hi, Ellen. Ellen, where did I put it? Ellen, I got your thank you card today and it made my day. So thank you so, so much. Um, I wanted to show it to people because it was so pretty. But thank you so much. Ellen won my giveaway and she sent me just the sweetest thank you card. Because she's so sweet. Um, okay, extra crinkles. I think since I'm sitting in my pink chair, I'm going to wear the tie-dyed pink headband. These are my very favorite wire wrapped fabric headbands. Hi, Mary. Um, I love them. I love them so much. This is, they're kind of wide, which is okay. I just fold them like that. And then you just twist and go. Now, I will say I don't love them when my bangs are overgrown. So I am actually going to uh, reverse it and do it like this. I love these so much. I have, I don't know, 10 of them at this point. Maybe less, probably less. Ta-da! They're so lovely. It's the most comfortable headband ever uh, because it's super adjustable. Um, it's got a nice little flexible wire in there so you can wrap it around your head and then it's not squeezing you and it stays in place all day. It's amazing. So this is, I, I surprised myself by selecting the pink one. Um, and I, can you even, I feel like these two are all I'm going to wear all summer. I kind of wish I had just bought the entire color collection. I think she had five colors. And I'm not sure she might still have these. They might be sold out. I have not checked recently. So it is, that's, that's it. Um, Yes, they're awesome for a Rosie the Riveter look. I I also just love them because I tend to wash my hair only like once a week. And honestly, since I just am home all the time, it's often less than that. So these are pretty handy. Okay, shall we do, let's do one other personal haul uh, share and then I'll get into the studio stuff. I wanted to share that my sister published a book. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Is this backwards for you all or is it just for me? Cause I am looking at mine. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you what it says. It says a guided journal for ESL students, volume one. There will be a volume two, maybe even a volume three. I don't know. Um, you can get this on Amazon. It is by my sister, Vanessa Johns. And it is a, it's forward. Awesome. Um, she's an ESL teacher. Um, she works with adult 
English learners, and she was frustrated that there were not really enough options for what she needed for her more, you know, advanced students. Um, and so she made her own. And it's amazing. And it's just a, like a guided, like a, it's a guided journal. So it's just basically, is it just line pages? There's a getting started piece. And then there's a prompt with blank pages on each on each page. And honestly, <laughs> I might use some of these for my Stitch May Q&A videos. Well, that one doesn't is not relevant to me. It's what advice would you give to someone who wants to learn a new language? Pick that pick up this journal. Um what is your favorite book? Why are you learning English? What's the best advice you have ever received? Um what do you want people to know about your country? Um describe your favorite study spot. Ooh. That one would be fun. Anyway, I'm just really proud of her. It's super exciting. She saw a need and she fixed it. She filled it. So we'll talk more about that on Stitch Make Q and A tomorrow. I'll just put her right there. Perfect. Okay, are you ready to see what's new in the studio? Because I'm so excited. Some of this I haven't actually looked at in person. Some things I opened just to combine packages a little bit. Also, what did I do with my water? Oh no. Truly, what did I do with it? Hold on one moment. Bear with me. Oh. All the way over here, it's not supposed to be. Okay. It's like live shopping. Oh, I will also say um, some of these items are already listed in the shop and some of them will be listed hopefully later tonight, but if not, then tomorrow morning. So if you don't see something, it will be there soon. Okay, let's start with ink circles. Oh boy, this one I have not looked at and this one is not in the shop yet, but she has three new designs. Hi, Kim, welcome. Okay, she has three new designs. So let's not lose my invoice. Okay, the first one is Dragon Fu Yang. Can you even look how pretty that is? And a little bit of Krynik. On Tango by Picture This Plus. Oh, I love it. It's a perfect Stitch Asia piece. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a nice small stitch, it's 86 by 86. It's really pretty. My neighbors are hanging out in their driveway. They're the soundtrack to my life. Okay, another one. This is part of her Roll Your Own Palette series. This is Ruffles. <laughs> That's a fun name for it. Um, ah, it's so fun. Sorry, it's a little glary glary. Um, so this series, the RYO, um, she gives you four different colorways. So you have the pink, it's like green and red. It's kind of like a rose palette, green and yellows. Um, so she gives you four different DMC palettes. Um, blah, 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 blah. It's stitched on 30 count cocoa from picture this, no, from weeks and these are stitched by the same model stitcher. Just a fun fact. Um, so you can choose one of the four colorways or you can make your own. And I, I think that's so fun. Like, I love how she does these. What is happening outside? It's been so quiet all day and now it's like a party everywhere. Anyway, she has several of these designs and I think they are super fun. And yet I haven't stitched one, so maybe I should. I've done a few few? Have I done a few? I finished one uh, monochrome ink circles piece. I've started some others, I think. I don't know. I never know. Okay. And then next up, this one is gorgeous. I accidentally was getting it ready to add to the shop. It's not live in the shop yet. And it was so pretty that I just left it for a couple days. Uh, this is Circular Logic. 
and it looks big and intense. It's only 153 by 153, so like, who even knows? It's stitched on Ren from Picture This Plus, and it uses Gloriana silk floss. And they're like, I don't, what color is that? Let's look, Mesa Sunset and Cinnabar Medium. So I think Mesa Sunset is the, the one that goes from like yellow to orange to red to purple that's used throughout. I don't think that's showing super well, but ugh, it's so pretty. Beautiful. Okay, so those, those I can talk are the new ink circles. Let's see what's new from Primitive Hair. These are listed in the shop already. They show pre-order, but they're actually ready to ship. So don't let that confuse you. I haven't seen these yet either. Oh, hi, Deb. And goodbye, Deb. Um, let's see. Okay, these are my patterns. Okay, so Primitive Hair, I think she has like four new charts or three new charts. We'll find out. Um, I think there's one that I didn't actually order. Um, she had a couple of patriotic designs and that's not a huge part of my uh, market. So I got one, but not the other. So I have three new designs to share with you. Um, and then she also has a new fabric. I can't wait to see it. Woo! Okay, so the first one is Fourth of July banner and she's super pretty. Um, and this one is kind of surprising because most of the time uh, Isabel charts with only DMC, but this one uses Weak Star Works and some Gentle Arts. So that's fun. So that is Patriotic Mermaid. She's super cute. She has stitched on the new linen, Ancient Stones. We'll look at it in a moment. Um, and that's all I have to say about her. She's very pretty. This one features another mermaid. This is Oceanarium, and I love it because there's a giant whale on here as well, and there's coral and jellyfish, and I will read you what it says. It's a little small. This is Oceanarium. It's adorable and beautiful. It also uses classic color work, so maybe I'm wrong that she mostly uses DMC. Maybe it's just the ones I've stitched. I'm maybe not a great shop runner. Um, this one's also stitched on ancient stone linen. Um, and this one comes, I have some of the bead packs that come with it as well. So let me tell you, the text says, it says a few different things. It says, be sure of yourself, but sure, S-H-O-R-E. <laughs> be sure of yourself, make waves. Come out of your shell, take time to coast, see life's beauty, S-E-A. So it's got, it's full of ocean puns, which is just so fun. And it's the most beautiful, mystical mermaid. Love it. Oh, she uses baking tin, which is one of the new classic color works. That's fun. Okay, so that's Oceanarium. And then the third one that I have, the last one that I have to share is called, I'm gonna say this wrong probably, but it's Old Stuvet. This is stitched on Primitive Hair Old Salem Linen and it also uses DMC and Gentle Arts, so I'm just a liar. Um, and then it, I have, I think just one maybe of the, the finishing kit with it that has a little pear pin. And then this piece, oh, I can show you on the back. It's like a printed fabric image of this tree because she gives you the story. When Peter Stuyvesant, I don't know if that's how you say his name, arrived in what would become New York City more than 300 years ago, he brought something special with him, a pear tree sapling, sapling from Holland. The sapling and Peter both flourished in their new home. And as the tree grew tall and mighty, he built a career as the last director general of New Amsterdam. Under British control, the land was renamed New York. 
and the tree continued to flourish on the corner of East 13th Street and 3rd Avenue in the East Village. 200 years after the pear tree's journey to America, it was struck and killed in a carriage accident. Oh, no. While the tree is no longer standing, a plaque remains to tell its story. The memory of the pear tree endures, and if you make a visit to the New York Historical Society, you can see a preserved section of the trunk. That's cool. So, it's just fun. It's just fun. So I think I have one of the little finishing packs left for that. I think I said that already. Okay, so the patterns. I'm not gonna show you the finishing pack because I'm just not. Get in there. Okay, please get in there. You have to talk to your inventory nicely because otherwise it gets messed. Okay, so eat packs. We don't need to see those. And then we put them down. Okay, are we ready to see the linen? I'm so excited. Oh, I don't. Um, this one is a printed linen. I'm going to unfold this one. Um, it's a printed linen. And it, come on, open. You can do it. Oh, look how cool that is. It's like a giant slab of rock. As you, oh. it smelled kind of weird. I don't know how I would describe that. It's normal to smell your fabric, right? Um, so this is, it's only one sided. So there's a right side and a wrong side. Um, it's 30 count. It's, I don't know, how big is this? Basically like a fat quarter, a little smaller. She gives the measurements in centimeters, so I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Um, but it's just very cool. You can see it gives kind of an oceany effect. That would be pretty fun. I feel like it's kind of washing out a little bit, but it's got a really cool like greenish hue to it. It's really fun. I don't know what I would want to stitch on it, but I want to stitch something on it. It's got some really cool, like there's like specks of color and ooh, it is pretty. So that is Ancient Stones Linen. And then I also restocked, which I don't think is in the shop yet, um, some of her infamous, infamous? Sure. Infamous Old Salem linen, which you can see is just like a really lovely hand dyed linen. Um, oh, okay. I was trying to read this. The font was a little difficult, but it says, I'm a hand dyed linen. Please do not wash me or I'll lose my aged aspect. Uh, she does brilliant things always. Okay, these are assorted new charts to the shop. Most of these are listed already, not all of them. Um, first, I have a new, a couple new designs from P Puntini Puntini. Um, this one I saw, I think, I guess the designer posted a picture of it ages ago, but it took a while to get to the distributor and it's called A Rose For You and it is, so sweet. It's this lady with roses and her scissors. She reminds me of Eliza Doolittle selling flowers. It comes with this really beautiful hand-painted button. And it says a rose for you. And it has the alphabet and the numbers and another alphabet. Both of them say rose and there's scissors and roses all over the place. And she's got a cute apron and roses on her dress. And she's just beautiful. Um, and she is stitched, ooh, she's stitched in DMC and Romy's Creations threads. That's fun. Okay, and then this is one other um, new Puntini Puntini design. It also comes with a hand-painted button, um, or like, yeah, hand handmade button from Puntini. This is pink power. <laughs> and it comes with a little flamingo button. And it's 
It says anything possible with sunshine and a little pink. And I just think that's so cute. It's so summery and Hawaii-y. And it's got a cute little flamingo and lemons. Woo! It just feels like summer. How fun. This is, I am assuming the next in a series, it might just be like a duo or a set or whatever, but she has Clover, Cloverdale Cottage came out at Expo. And now we have Dogwood Dwelling. Um, and it is stitched in color and cotton threads with, uh, she gives you a DMC to go with it. And it's just beautiful. Uh, let's see, and it's stitched on a color and cotton linen in raw muslin. And it's so cute. I love a good dogwood tree. Okay, should we do, let's do a little patriotic um, trio. Um, I have two new releases from Beth Twist that are patriotic in nature. Um, the first one is Liberty Pindrum and Justice Needleberry. Oh, the cutest little eagle on his little shield and the little needleberry and it's super patriotic and beautiful. Um, yes, I think this was originally released as like a club piece or a shop exclusive or something, but now it's for everybody. And then she has another patriotic uh, piece and this is truly beautiful. Um, not that the other one isn't beautiful, but this is a plant of rapid growth. And the text says, Liberty is a plant of rapid growth. And like, I feel like the colors are not getting to really be their best, but they are so pretty. It's an assortment of classic color works, gentle art and ghast. Um, ooh, that's fun. It says that the frame was thrifted and refinished by Beth. <gasps> How fun. And it's stitched on Heartland. And it's just, it's just beautiful. Um, another patriotic one from Waxy Moon Designs. This is Patriotic Barn Trio. Oh, it's so cute. So there's Liberty, Justice, and Freedom. And they're just the cutest little barns. I love Waxy Moon. She has, she, I think it's a she, has a whole bunch of these trio sets. So there's like haunted houses and Christmas houses and seasonal houses and there's like month designs and other like holiday trios and they're just all so good. I haven't stitched any of them, but I love them all. I have most of them in my in my personal stash. Um, but I just really, really enjoy that. Growing up, we had a barn in our backyard. It did not look as cute as any of these. Um, it kind of gave me like haunted house vibes a little bit because it was, it was somewhat functional, but it was also just very like dark and gross, and dirty. And sometimes there were horses, then it was less scary and it was cleaner and nicer. Um, okay, let's see here. So those are our patriotic things, but I do have one other heartstring samplery. This is the next in her Sunday Stitches series. This is Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus. There we go. Um, I'm on her, or I'm sorry, what am I saying? This is a series that she is releasing monthly to shops that are in her auto ship program. Um, so not every LNS that you might walk into in person is gonna have them, um, but I have them. And if you are interested, I also have a monthly auto ship option. Um, that I can add you to. Um, this one, the text says, "'Tis an ocean vast of blessing, "'tis a haven sweet of rest." And I just, I just love it. And I think on her, on her website, you can see the upcoming hymns that she's doing. Um, and recently I noticed, I was pulling the colors for a customer and they're um, like, this one is on r, &R Vintage Beeswax. Um, and they're all like slightly different shapes and counts and, and all that, but about about this size of, well, this is 150 by 60, which is kind of big, bigger than I thought. Uh, what am I saying? It is, 
oh, there's a lot of repeated colors. So like this uses poblano pepper, that's used in a couple others, brethren blue, green with envy, both used in a few other designs, banana pudding, caper, load in, Concord is another one, Battleship, I think, Tennessee Red Clay. So like you could get a set of those colors and stitch multiple designs. I want to stitch this series. I don't have enough time. Stitch all the things. Okay, um, this is not a new release, but I didn't get it at Expo and I finally got it uh, recently, and it's creepy pumpkin stackers from Praiseworthy Stitches, and they're these really fun little pumpkins, kind of like a pumpkin biscornu type of situation. Um, yeah, it's just very fun. Um, I'm looking at the there's a lot of information that goes with it. <laughs> uh, oh man, there's some Krynik. Oh, there's a spider button. There's some beads. It is a project, but it looks super cute. Okay, are you ready for a little bit more spooky times? Um, this is one of the new releases from Teresa Kogut, and I saw this and I was like, oh yes. I Silla witches and it is just full of fun little treats. I love the little ghosties. Um, obviously, I love all the cats. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of witches. There's some monsters and a vampire and some bats and other just like fun spooky surprises. Oh, and I just think it's so so fun. Um, this one is stitched on forty count dark golden brown by X2 Design, and then it uses um, just two colors, as you can probably infer, um, but it uses swamp water, which is a wheat's color. It's been out of stock for a while, but I'm hoping to get, get it in because it is like the perfect murky color to use for something like this. And then guacamole for that monster and some other little, little bits. It's so fun. It's a big piece. It's, well, I guess it's only, it's not that big of a piece. If you stitch it on 40 count, it's only eight by eight. So you can totally do that. Um, <laughs> oh, she doesn't get total number of stitches. You could totally stitch it like so fast. You could have it done for Halloween. Actually, I have a piece of harvest pumpkin or something like that linen from Primitive Hair. You could look good on this. I have a lot of orange fabrics. I tend to buy them with very little impulse control, which is fine. Okay, and then uh, Trace Cogut's other new release is called For the Love of Nature. It's one of these spiral bound booklets and it is really pretty. You have this girl and a deer and he has little like, they're like little branchy antlers. I don't know. This little fox is the cutest. This little raccoon is the cutest. I just love it. I might just stitch the raccoon. I I really like raccoons and cross stitch. They're super cute. Oh, yes, I just love this. I love the little, oh no, it says my connection is unstable. Oh, I'm back, okay. Um, I love, I just love all the little, the little motifs and treats. There's bunnies and butterflies and flowers and birds. Ooh. Let's see, this is stitched on 32 count corn silk by weeks with a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. A few more things. Um, a couple of these are not new, but I'll show you anyway. This is Moo the Merrier Farms. I love you till the cows come home from Needle Bling Designs, part of the Moo the Merrier collaboration from the Needlework Expo. This one is Reaping Love, I Love You to Death by Silver Creek Samplers. I love this one. It's pretty dark, but it's pretty great. 
Okay, this one is new. Um, I don't think it's listed quite yet, but I will list it soon, I promise. This is from Fairy Wool in the Wood. It's called Sea Time, and she has another beautiful mermaid and sailor piece. It has all these beautiful little like postage stamps. I love them. I love them. The mermaid and her tail coming out of it. Um, the little crab and the seagulls, the ship in a bottle, the flip flops and the footprint. Oh, I love it all. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's just so cute. Oh, and there's like, this is like a little like, what is that called? A porthole? The little window? I don't know, but they're just looking out of the window of the ship. Um, it says I'm unstable. I don't know what that means. Okay, I just noticed this mermaid is holding a baby mermaid, a mer baby, if you will. I'm sorry, have you ever seen such a thing? Because I have not outside of maybe like the little mermaid. I'm obsessed with that. I'm gonna need to stitch it. That's it, I have to stitch it. Okay, I also picked up a, a little restock of Lettuce Turn Up the Beets Peas from Hands On Design. This is one of her new releases, it's super cute. It's sold out and I was like, wait a minute, I need one for me and I need more for the shop. Got it. Adorable. Okay. Um, I think that's actually it. I have a couple, I have like some less exciting, like I restocked some floss. This is Deep Sea and Conquered from Weeks Dye Works. But I have some personal stitchy haul and some personal non-stitchy haul. So I'm gonna show those to you all and then go put all this stuff away and pack up the orders of the things that are newly arrived, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I had fun on one, two, three stitch, picking out some picture this plus fabrics because, um, I went on because I was like, oh, I would like to order an eight by 12 piece. Of, I don't even remember what color because I was gonna maybe use it for a design and I would need an eight by 12 piece and they had it in stock and I was like, I'll just grab it. I'm here. I'm gonna just kind of check it out. And then um, before you know it, I picked out several different colors. A few of these have designs that are like tentatively earmarked for them um, different things that will be released at some point. Um, a couple of them, what are you? Truly, I have no idea. I don't remember ordering this one. This is a, what does it say? It's an 18 count. It's a seven, it's a fat quarter. Like I thought I was only ordering little eight by 12 pieces. So maybe I just put the wrong one in my cart and I did not notice, but this might just go into my shop because I don't know what I would do on this giant piece of, it's a very nice light blue aerial. It's Ada, I said that, 18 count Ada. I really have no idea what this is for. <laughs> I think it was an accident. Oh, that's embarrassing, but whatever, it happens, okay. The ones that I actually bought with intention, I'm doing an under the water themed piece. And so I wanted to get a couple different blues. So I have 18 count mystic. Ooh. And then for a slightly different vibe, 32 count lock, which is looking a lot closer to tarnish than I was expecting. Um, tarnish tends to be a little bit lighter, but it, it's not quite as blue as I thought it would be. So I'm glad we're doing this here. Also, it's getting kind of dark. Can you reach this light? I don't know if that helped. Okay, but either way, I love grabbing these little eight by 12 pieces because they're usually like four to $6 and they're perfect for a lot of, so picking up more uh, 
16 and 18 count eta. It keeps saying, it keeps telling me connections unstable. Um, I keep picking up more 16 and 18 and 20 count eta because I love stitching on it and I'm just loving stitching one over one right now. So hi, Denise from New Zealand. Okay, next up, this one, I think I was also maybe thinking could be an under the water situation. It's definitely more purple than what I wanted it to be, but this is J. And this one I got in 40 count for some reason. Well, not for some reason, I like 40 count, but I think I just bought it because it looked fun. And then, oh, this other one I also got in 40 count. I don't know what, I was kind of, I don't even know. This is Cyprium, and actually this one I might be using Okay, great. I'm thank you, Ellen. Cat cell, it's by Anna Aguayo, uh Peruvian flair on Etsy, and she as a thank you to the stitching community for like embracing her and her design. She's re she's releasing another stitch along. It is available for free. You have to sign up with her. I'll try to remember to post this after the fact, but it's a little bird piece. It's kind of a similar aesthetic to the, to the cat's piece. And so I bought this because I was like, I kind of want to do it on some similar looking fabric to my cats, but then So stay tuned for a floss tube eventually and I'll, I'll show you all. But meanwhile, it says reconnecting for much longer. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I, again, I don't fully know what I was thinking with all of these, but it was fun to pick them out. But then I was like, one, two, three, stitch, what else do you have for me? And I noticed that they had, they have these every once in a while in stock. Um, they're little grab bag fabric bags. And so I said, yes, please. Um, so I got two of them, two of the, 28, 40 count linen, and you get like eight pieces of six by six ish pieces. Like they're just like they're scraps of fabric, right? And it was like, I think it's like five dollars, and you get a bunch of pieces. So I got two of the 28 to 40 count linen things, and then I got one of the even weave. So it's 28 to 32 count, and they're not all they're not labeled. It's just a mystery. So like this, I think is Stormy Night. Um, from Wichelt. This is just a nice black. So you can see, like, it's, a, it's, it's little, but that's fine. Um, this is just like a neutral. This one is gridded. Is that like officially gridded? Like, if I wash it, will something happen? I don't know. I will experiment. Um, okay, the even weave one is kind of boring, but again, something nice and neutral, but these would be perfect for little ornaments and smalls and things. Um, this is like a khaki situation. <gasps> this is fun. It's, there's like a gingham. I don't know if it's going to show. Oh yeah, it's got like some cool modeling. So again, no idea what I'm going to do with these, but I thought <laughs> that would be fun. And then the linen ones look a lot more exciting. So again, there is a mix of like fun over dyed, hand dyed things and not. And there's, it's just random counts and slightly random sizes. Like if you can see, see that. Um, but like this looks kind of like um, storm clouds by picture this plus. Am I making that up? I don't know, but something fun. Um, there's a couple neutrals. There's, ooh, another gingham -y situation. Um, this is a nice, like, I don't know, light teal 
thing. I'm so good with words. Another little gamey bit. Um, this looks kind of like Ren to me. Uh, and then another neutral. And I have one more because I was like, I just, I don't know. The reviews were like, it's a fun little mix. And so I said, okay, give me some fun little mixes. Uh, some light blue, neutral, neutral. Ooh, this one's fun. I don't know what that is, but it is a nice splotchy neutral. Another gingham situation. And then this looks kind of like parchment from weeks. I don't know. Um, and then a couple more neutrals. So a few more plain neutrals than I was hoping for, but still pretty fun. And like, I have a shocking lack of make up some little giveaway situations for anything that I know I won't use or use anytime soon. But it is a really fun way to try out some new colors or new to me things like that red gingham. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'm very excited to find out. Um, plus, in my current one over one obsession, I can stitch a lot of things on teeny tiny pieces of fabric. So I am into that. Okay, and that is almost all. I am gonna show you one more thing. This is not stitching related, but I am newly obsessed with these nail wraps from Lily and Fox. My friend Michelle in Australia, she was talking about them and I was like, okay, I'll look into it. They're $3 for a set with free shipping. I put on the test pair that she sent me and was amazed with how well they stayed on. I love having my nails painted, but I don't like to paint them because I have to stitch and I'm doing stuff. And also I like, these are working hands. I'm in the studio. I'm doing stuff. I'm ripping boxes open. Um, so I didn't really trust nail wraps. And I also, I just don't have time to paint them myself. Um, and throughout, you know, quarantine, I wasn't going to get my nails done. I could go do that now that I am vaccinated, but I don't have any on right now because I was waiting for these to arrive. Um, so let me show you how fun and cool they are. The thing that, <laughs> the thing that made me order them Oh, wow. Okay, that's a fun. She always, maybe not always, but she sent me an extra set. And they are not my style. But that's okay. Um, and <laughs> we're these little ghosties. Obviously, I needed the ghosties. <laughs> um, so I got another set of ghosties. And then I got a couple, like I won't show you all of the basics, but there's just like a nice red, a nice neutral. Um, I got several, I really love wearing black nails. Um, let me show you some fun ones. I got a few different galaxy themed. Oh, that's crazy. This one I received as a test set from her and I was like, okay, I'm glad this is my test set because like, that's not my style at all. I loved them. I was obsessed, so I got more. Sorry, the, there's not a great way of showing you without super, super glare. I love them. They stayed on super well. I put them on Sunday night. Um, it took like 15 minutes. They go on super easily. You file off the edges. You don't have to use any kinds of like special heat or extra stuff. You literally just, you make sure your nails are clean and then you just stick it on. Um, and they stayed on super well. By Saturday morning, they I could they were starting to kind of like peel up at the edges a little bit and they say you can put top coat over it, it helps it stay on. I was too impatient to do that, but I will do it next time. Um, and they just peeled off super easily and there was like a little bit of residue, but it washed off. And then I just put on the next set, the next, like evening. It was amazing. I don't have them on right now, again, because I was waiting for many ones. And also I cut my nails a little 
little shorter than I like. Um, and that may, because why not? These, I'm super out. <gasps> Ooh, very galactic. Um, Diva nails, I think is what they're called. To do with like my plain black. I got these fun rainbows. Pride month is coming up. So I'm going to be rocking a bunch of rainbow stuff in support. Um, I got these little like, I don't like these heart ones, but those like watercolor ones. Super cool. <laughs> Summer's coming. I'm going to have watermelon nails. I'm so excited. Um, this is just pretty and pink. These are like orangey glittery ombre. Am I blinding you? I hope not. And then I have another galactic set, which I just think is super, super cool. Okay, and then the free set that she sent me this time is uh, not great, but maybe I'll find a child to give it to you. Um, but this is Pug Love. They're little puppies. So that's not really my style, but I'm sure if I found somebody. One of them says happy dog. <laughs> I don't know my nails, but whatever. It's nice to have like a, a set that you can uh, experiment with. And they're $3 each and they last a week and they're like super fun and affordable and super easy to put on. Um, I, I slash the internet recommend putting them on before bed so that they have like the night to, to fully set and you're not immediately like washing dishes or anything like that. Um, but they are my new obsession and I am not sorry about it. Um, and so it's Lily and Fox, lilyandfox.com. Um, and then she also sends a little mini emery board with a little cuticle stick, which is just very handy. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. Maybe I'll start adding these in some of my giveaways next time around. I don't know. Okay. We are out of stuff. I need to go put all this away and pack up some orders and do some stuff in the studio. So I'm going to go do that. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I like doing live streams. I've been having a lot of fun doing my daily Stitch May Q&A over on my uh, Instagram channel. Tomorrow we're going to do some of these questions. It's going to be fun. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the shop, tapnostitcher.com if you need any stitching stitching things. And check out main message because they're beautiful. For $3 a week. Yeah. $3 in a week where? Like, that's $12 a month. That's cheaper than a manicure. They're delightful. And, like, I have not painted my nails myself in two years. I don't even know. Because I'm too busy. I've got stitching. There's no time for nail painting. But I love having my nails painted. They're so colorful and fun and delightful. Um, okay. Now I'm going to go for real. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I'll see you tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Pacific on my Instagram. And I think I'll have a floss tube video at some point this weekend as well. So I'll see you later. Goodbye.